Welcome back to Balderdash Academy. Our points are in last place. We have our visiting professor with four points. Next, we have Steve and myself with a tie for 23 points. After that, we have Nate with 26, Marie with 32, and in the lead, Molly with an even 50 points. Yes. The kick. It is time for our final pop quiz of the night. This pop quiz is from the professor of home ec and wellness, Marie Stewart Harmon. Marie, what do you have for us? All right, folks. Um, it is summertime here in Maine at the time of this filming. And as you can see, if you're watching this on the YouTubes, which you all should be, um, <laughs> I am out here on my porch and you can't see it. It's off screen right now. I've got citronella candles all over the place because um, last time I was doing this, I got bit all over. I have mosquito bites uh. all over my legs. Um, I didn't have any cortisone. I didn't have any Benadryl. I, what do I do for my own sanity, the health and wellness of my body? Something that I might have in my home right now that is not a prescription. How, what would I do to cure these itchy, itchy bug bites? Um, Nate, how about you? Um, so you, you, you have them actually out amongst you right now. You've already mentioned them. It's the citronella, yes. citronella candles. Oh. Um, you can use those or any candle. Basically, you just want some hot wax. Um, and much, I, listen, I watched this on the tutorial video, House of Wax. Um, <laughs> I think Paris Hilton was in that too. Uh, nice but, um, yeah, you just cover your body with it and you peel it off. It's excellent for removing blackheads, you know, uh, any toxins in your pores. And it's pulls the bug bites right off. Um, the only thing I would say is maybe have like some skin grafts ready to go. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. Cover yourself in wax and just pull everything off. All right. Thank like you. Like a Band-Aid, um, nice and slow. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You might not have any hair after it, but you won't have bug bites either. Um, Molly, what about, what about you? What would you do for itchy bug bites? Oh, man, anyone that knows me knows that I suffer from mosquitoes really, really mm. bad. I would suggest me getting too. your yard sprayed. Um, <laughs> I can hook you up with a client. Anyways, um, what? So most people say toothpaste. Most people say to put toothpaste on mm. it, which whatever, peppermint. Sure, you can do that. It doesn't work. All right. If you're serious like you and I, it does not work. What you want to do is take toilet water, freeze it into ice cubes. Once you have them frozen into ice cubes, you will then take the toilet water ice cube and put it on the wound. Now, not only will this reduce inflammation, but the urine, it acts like, you know, they say if a jellyfish pees, you know, pees on you, if a jellyfish, <laughs> jellyfish pees on you. Hey, you do you. <laughs> um, whatever you're into. We're not on the urine that. train. <laughs> Judgment free <laughs> zone. Okay. All right. Listen, you're in trade. If, if, if the jellyfish stings you, you want to pee on it, it's the same thing. Okay. It's the same concept. You're going to neutralize that. So you're hitting it two times with the, with the cold and with yeah, the you urine disinfectant. I just have one clarifying question, Molly. If you are not sure. in your home and you perhaps are camping mm -hmm. and you get attacked by mosquitoes and you're in a campground, would you still use... Porta potty water? <laughs> Poor... Uh, mm -hmm. I sure would. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. right there. Everyone, <laughs> everyone brings a, a cooler. You can make it work. Okay, it's worth it. <laughs> All right. All right. You are All an right. incredible mother, and I am. Yes, I am. Worried for your children. <laughs> um, uh, Headmaster Bob, what would yes. you do about these itchy bug bites? Well, you see. You might look on, look for something that's a roll on. You might look for something that is arid, makes you extra dry. What I would recommend is just tell your husband that you need a deep massage spa day to really work mm. on the welts from the mosquitoes. <laughs> it may not be immediate, but in the end, I guarantee you will feel a lot better. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds oh. like a, it sounds like a commercial from the fifties. Think... Ladies, tell your husbands yes. you need a deep <laughs> massage for most. Well, of I was more specifically saying <laughs> Matt. Bye, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> tell your husband. <laughs> I think it's fun day. Um, well, Bob I don't said think I had anybody's... to because a mosquito bit me. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think any of us are going to be having real spa days anytime soon. But that mm. is a really good piece of advice and one I will definitely be bringing back to Matt. Um, Steve, what would you do about these itchy bug bites? Here's what I would do. You don't have to do this. Um, your mileage may vary. <laughs> But this works. This works. Okay. Um, the only thing sometimes to offset pain is more pain. And bug bites, okay. they are painful. They're itchy. You're just going to scratch them all night. It's horrible. So what you need is a much larger, more painful bite. Okay. All you need to do is find a loved one, a neighbor that you trust. Um, your cat. Your cat. And all you need is them to administer the largest bite they can deep into your flesh. And that will really offset um, the the pain receptors and will help you relax and be able to get some sleep. I have a question for Please. Steve. Please. Um, yeah. I have uh, a zombie in my basement. Um, should I let them bite me? Um, traditionally, I'd say no, but under the no? circumstances, okay. you know, it's hard. To I just find don't know. What, I don't people. know what to do with them. Uh, well, on the plus yeah. side, you will never have to worry about mosquitoes again. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Zombie bites. They only like new blood. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The the these have been really really helpful suggestions. We've got we've got uh, Nate's cover your entire body in wax and then rip it off. Um. That sort of kind of goes hand in hand with Steve's there with increase increase your pain. Um. To distract you from the itching there. Um. But in Steve's case, it was find somebody who loves you to bite you as hard as possible. Right. Um, For mosquitoes or other reasons. Yep. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. Um. We've got um Molly's toilet water frozen. Toilet water, um, just like you know, you gotta you gotta pee on a jellyfish sting. You put that toilet water on a mosquito bite in the form of iced cubes. And my personal favorite, Bob's. I need to go to the spa. Um, so Amanda, what do you think is the best bet here? What should I do? Ooh, these are all wonderful remedies. Um, so I'm gonna administer you all points. Uh, Molly, you're gonna get five frozen pea cubes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Because that's great. Um, Did you say cube or pube? No, <laughs> God. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I was going down cube. the toilet. <laughs> you brought it up. Uh, oh, so God. five of pubes or cubes, whatever you're feeling, Molly. Sure. Um, Nate, you're going to get six pubes. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, finally you got six. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Steve, you're you're gonna get seven um, uh, pube cubes. Oh, <laughs> lovely! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're just mixing it up. And and Bob, you are the winner because it's all about self care. So um, mm -hmm. you, you you're gonna get ten. It's a mixed bag of cubes and cubes. And <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Steve's seven. Pubes cubed. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> that's um, that's pube with a little four next to it. <laughs> I am sorry. <clears throat> um, this, these have all been really, really helpful pieces of advice, and actually. Mm -hmm. My 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 suggestion to you all was actually said. Molly said it earlier. Almost everybody has toothpaste in their home. You just and if you don't have toothpaste, you can create a baking soda um, and water paste, which also would work. A lot of toothpaste is made from baking soda, mm. um, and the paste um, pulls the itch right out. The other suggestion that I have is um, creating a paste with oatmeal. Um, if every if anybody remembers getting the chicken pox, if you haven't got them yet then you should stay away from anybody who has them um mm. it, when i was younger and i had the chicken pox i got an oatmeal bath um which makes perfect sense that oatmeal the creamy consistency of it it, it makes it relieves the itching so two things that most people have in their homes oatmeal and toothpaste yes nate roll-on antiperspirant will also work deodorant yep how long do i have to bake the soda for um until it is down to a powder it's a long time. It's like maple syrup. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mountain Dew. You guys are really right. making Alan's job easier. So. <laughs> <laughs> would you like Sorry, to know Amanda. our points? Yes. I, yes. I would love Can't to. Wait. So right now, in Just last place, lead. we have our visiting professor with four points. Next, we have Steve with 30, Nate with 32, tied with Marie for 32, Myself with 33, and in the lead with 55 points, Ooh. we have Molly. It wow. is time for yes, our last Amanda. Yes. minute or less. So our last minute or less question, Amanda. Who are two people who've been the most influential to you? Ooh. Ooh. In my whole life? Or today. However you'd like to interpret. <laughs> How about oh, both? I'd love to hear both things. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, this is so hard. Ooh. Ooh. 50, um, 49, I guess 48. my mom is pretty influential because she told me to follow my dreams and be who I want to be. So that's pretty effective for yeah. influencing my life. Also, that's awesome. Awesome birthed me um and <laughs> i would i would say that um bring it back to the older comedians like uh molly shannon has always been like one of my absolute favorite uh performers yeah. so just yeah absolutely bring it yeah. back to that <laughs> um i would say Ooh. yeah a lot of the SNL hold on stars good answer and under a minute our next game is called Technically Correct. I will read a description of a movie that is technically correct. Our faculty members will all come up with an answer as fast as possible. Amanda will then award points based on the answers that she likes best. Our first movie. A surgeon fights an interdimensional adversary. Nate, what's your answer? Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange for Nate. Marie, what do you have? Alien versus Predator. Alien versus Predator. All right, Molly, what's your answer? Oh, God. Um, surgeon. Um, uh, Jaws 2. Jaws 2. <laughs> it's like a surgeon. I was going to write down Jaws Surgeon. Steve, what's your answer? <laughs> um, Terminator 2. Terminator 2. So we have Nate with Doctor Strange, Marie with Alien vs. Predator, Molly with Jaws 2, Steve with Terminator 2. The answer is the adventures of Buckaroo Banzai across the eighth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> how could we have missed what? that? <laughs> Amanda, how would you like to score? Well, I was with Nate. I was like, it's Doctor Strange, duh. Yeah. If we're going to go with Nate, you're going to get five fingers, five points. Five I'm catching fingers. up to Molly. Right. I, I used to give Our... you all points, and now I'm just being lazy. <laughs> it's good. Our it's next good. movie. Keep it small. Our <laughs> next movie. Five fingers, keep it small. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. So, our next movie, A Man Steals a Job from a Woman. <laughs> a Man Steals a Job from a Woman. Steve, what do you have? Uh, Secretariat. Secretariat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate, what's your answer? Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <sighs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Ooh. All right, Marie, what do you got? Um... <laughs> I'm going to go with secretary. <laughs> secretary. <laughs> yeah. All right. Molly, what's your answer? It's, of course, the wolf of Wall Street. It's supposed to be wolf. wolf. The wolf of Wall Street. All right. So you have Steve with secretary, Nate with Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Marie with a secretary, Molly with the wolf of Wall Street. The answer is Tootsie. Oh, yeah. No. Huh. Great movie. Cute. The answer yeah. was oh, yeah. Tootsie. Totally. Amanda, how would you yeah. like to score? Um, he was on a uh, roll. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to give uh, Steve, because you made me giggle the most on that one, you're going to get five five points. Just, right, just classic Steve. points. Just classic, because okay. my brain just couldn't come up with something funny. It's too easy to giggle at the fingers. Our next movie, <laughs> an ex-con 
robs the wrong men and needs to save his family. Molly, what do you got? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> It, um, it is um, Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Steve, what's your answer? Uh, Last of the Mohicans. Last of the Mohicans. Nate, what do you got? Um, the Art of the Deal. Art of the Deal. And Marie... <laughs> I am so sorry. I got so focused on Molly's that. Oh, okay, I remember. Okay, um, I it. Hmm. Okay, so originally I was gonna go with Robin Hood, um, and I'm sticking with that. It's just Robin Hood. <laughs> Robin Hood. All yeah. right. So we have Molly with Christopher Robin, Steve with Last of the Mohicans, Nate with the Art of the Deal, Marie with Robin Hood. The answer was the fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. I was very close. Yeah. So, <laughs> Amanda, how would you like to score? Yeah, I'm going to have to give Molly those five points because yes. a fox lives in the woods and Christopher Robin mm. spent time in the Hundred Acre Woods. Sure and did. Absolutely. And helped Winnie the Pooh steal some honey. All right. I thought totally. she was barking up the wrong tree. Our <laughs> last movie of Technically Correct a young singer signs a contract for a chance to change her life forever. Marie, what do you have? I'm going to go with Burlesque starring Cher. <laughs> Burlesque. Burlesque. Molly, what do you got? Um, it is straight out of Compton. Straight <laughs> out of Compton. All right, Steve, what's your answer? Uh, the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. Nate, what do you Ooh. have? I think that's right. The Shawshank Redemption. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> All right. So you have Marie with Burlesque, Molly with Straight Out of Compton, Steve with The Little Mermaid, and Nate with The Shawshank Redemption. The answer was Steve. It's The Little Mermaid. Yes. Yes. No, second nice. time Steve got it right in my count, I believe. Good job, yeah. Steve. Nice. Well done. Amanda, how was your score? Five thingamabobs for Steve. Think, ooh, nice Bob's reference. Steve, before we get to our points, it's now time for today's moral. So, after listening <laughs> to what we said today, after talking to Amanda, after laughing with each other, there's one thing that's abundantly clear. If you ever want to get out of bringing something to a potluck, just explain to the party you have to create a universe first. Nice. That's my go-to answer from now on. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. All right. It's now time for our final points. In last place, we have our visiting professor with four points. I'm going to give her an additional 30 yeah. in last place. We have Marie with 32 points. I was winning two minutes ago. <laughs> we have myself with 33, Amanda with 34. We have Nate with 37, Steve with 40, and our fifth time reigning champion, Molly oh McGill wow. with 60 Oh my God, points. oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> well Thank you done, so much. Nice job. Molly. Nice job. Thank well you, Amanda. Done. That was a good game. I owe it all to you, Amanda. You literally do. Amanda. Amanda, Literally. thank you for being a visiting professor tonight. Yes. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you so much. for having me. It was so great yeah. to have fun with you guys. I miss you all so oh. much. So we went I from rehearsing wait. with Amanda weekly and seeing Amanda almost every Saturday night mm. to nothing since March, and it's been killing us. So this has been as much fun for us yeah. as it has been for you. I hope as much fun for you. I had a blast. <laughs> thank you. Uh, links to all of Amanda's work are in the description. Check them out. Thank you for visiting us at Balderdash Academy. I have been your headmaster, Bob LeBlanc. Joining me has been our professor of home economics, Marie Stewart Harmon. Someday I'll win again. <laughs> our professor of STEAM, Nate Green. Check the universe. <laughs> 
coach of the Baller Dash Academy Dashers, Steve Corning. We'll get him next time. And our five-time reigning champion in a tie for most wins, Professor of English Language Arts, Molly McGill. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! We're on a roll. <laughs> and once again, Putsy. thank you to our visiting professor, Amanda E. Thanks Woo! for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye, we love you. For complete episodes and more, visit us at balderdashacademy.com. This week's After Hours special gets super special when our visiting professor Amanda Eden gives us a new life with me topic. You get to see how the faculty think things like uh, candle making and, well, optometry can relate to uh, hiking. Eh, let's see what we do. Catch it up on bonus. What? I said catch it up. Like, catch up? Come on. That was a good one, too. Dang it. Okay. <clears throat> um... Catching on the next part of Thundernash Academy. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. You can find us on your favorite podcast service as Balderdash Academy. Go Dashers!